All right, getting into it. Uh, Tom versus Shulk. Well, Tom versus Echo Sean, which is Roy versus Shulk. Let's see what Three, we're going to get. Two, one, go. All right, so starting off right up, uh, starting off the bat, we're going to PS2, and Tom gets an immediately just like getting stage advantage, just pushing him off stage. But then, you know, didn't have enough uh, knockback to really just maintain that. But already keeping center, keeping some good control, uh, getting that little bits of damage that he needs. I have to tweak this. One second. Oh, Tom. Looking to get uh, the first kill. No, not yet. Jumping out, gonna save him. And once again, gonna save him. Alright, so Tom gonna take the first stock. I'm sorry, Echo Sean gonna be taking the first stock. Woo wee! Okay. Echoshawn doing a fantastic job just like really like absorbing as much damage while like not taking any lethal blows. The surviving up to a 186. Like, you know, it's kind of one of those things that like can happen a, a lot more common for Shulk because of the Shield Monado. But still, just having that sort of like resource management and just being able to like go for that uh, still really impressive. Living to, well, dying at 197 after hit. Finally gonna even out the stocks here. Tom only taking 70%. Not the worst, like he's he's definitely at a deficit, but you know, he he definitely has room that he can work with. And said room working with, doing it just that, uh, really just closing the gap on this percentage uh, really quickly. Eglishon finally trying to get some, uh, some motion in. All right, slow it down just a little bit. Also high Z minus. Uh. All right, back throw going to take out Tom's second stock. Egoshan with a pretty solid lead here. 70 damage while with a stock lead uh, can be really good uh, because you're not super close to dying. Like you'd have to get knocked out by something like super strong. Like that kind of like that hard setup that Tom just went for with that reset for the, uh, the F smash. And here we see the shield Monado, you know, just going to be extending it just a little bit even longer. Oh, wow. The running forward tilt. I think he wasn't expecting that because you could tell by the DI. He just was holding down. Just nothing was proper there. Although, you know, holding down will reduce the total knockback, which can help. Oh, what did I call it? What did I call it? Oh, did I call it Monado? I'm not. Why am I even reading chat? Over? Look at me. All right, on the final stocks, Echoshan going. Ooh, and Zane, but actually scoop him up. First time you saw, like, he kind of just covered, uh, like, first one option just, like, completely whiffing, but it was basically, like, an option select because he just went off, did the swing, and if he got hit by that, he would have gotten the win there. But, and it didn't, but, you know, you see it it, uh, it put him in the great position to just cover for it. Also, it made Tom think that, like, okay, he missed. I can make my recovery now. And that's where Sean was just like, gotcha. What do you think this is? So, uh, kudos to Sean taking game one. Uh, let's see what uh, what Tom is looking to counterpick here. You know, still made it up to last stock. Uh they kind of both had their back and forths. Tom started off super strong, uh, but wasn't able to seal out the stock. Just Echo Sean was just living forever. Um, so, yeah. Let's see how we go into this game, too. All right, going to town and city. All 
All right. So, hmm, let me think about this. So, town and city. So, like, we have uh, we have a super high ceiling, uh, and like the stage itself, like the blast zone walls, like wall to ledge ratio is like kind of normal, I think, or smallish. But like the stage is massive, so like dying across stage is gonna still be quite a difficult task. Regardless, Tom already getting a pretty good edge guard situation. Uh, wasn't able to seal it out. Sean making it back. And now reversing it. Let's see what he can take with this edge guard. Oh, all right. Uh, just holding back. Nothing really too hard to commit. Uh, you know, but you know, Sean is beginning to take a bit of a lead here in the percentages. Who the the double sword dance, whatever it's called, sends him off, and then it just completely sends Sean into a stupor. Not un not sure what he should do, what Monado art he should switch to, and then just die. So now Tom, with a stock lead, not uh, kind of far into this stock, so he's only, he has 100 damage, and ooh, Sean almost able to scoop him up and just send him off the side, evening it out, but not going to be it. Sends him back into another edge guard situation. All right, oh, ooh, scary. My man's is just swinging. He just knows that he just wants to get that damage because uh, he knows that his, like, his time is limited on this stock here. And, you know, I kind of respect it, you know, uh, especially when you're at 150, like, goddamn. Ooh, all right. This time the scoop is going to work. And it actually also just covered for, like, the tech as well. Okay. Ooh. Oh, all right. Wow, dead even. 71 across the board, but Sean going to take that away from me just as I'm saying it. Got super even here. I, Tom is going for I like I respect the fact that he's going for these sort of, these sort of resets cuz like he, you can build like such a massive lead. He's not really paying for it, but I want to see him like switch it up just a little bit to make it make that more like a, of a conditioned reset, you know, make him like, oh, he went past me every time. I'm going to do stick tech this time. And then that, then make the read to do it. Because when you just like throw it out like that, uh, it's not really, you know, it's like, oh, okay, just threw it out there, whatever. But regardless, Tom going to be taking the second stock here. Uh, kind of a repeat of the first stock we saw on this game too. You know, he, he has the stock lead, but you know, at what cost? He's at some pretty high percentages here, 110. But getting the edge guard situation, eating the jump. No, didn't eat the jump. And the good good stuff on Echo Sean saving his jump, only going for the up B, and making it back on stage. Now Tom kind of air dodging off stage. I think that was a little bit of a miss input, bro. I. Position yourself better. I, like, it's okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, what can Echo Sean does? Ooh, he was going to go look for the scoop once again, but this time uh, ends up getting stuffed by the, uh, the up B. And now Tom is looking to be lapping him with, on percentages if he even makes it because he's probably going to die. Does not, actually. <gasps> Careful. Boom. Right. Echo Sean finally going to be taking out Tom to his uh, last stock, but could this be too little too late? Oh, I like that. Tom reading that he was going to maybe hold down and go for the slash to forget some cheeky damage, but doesn't opt for it, so that's good. Uh, definitely would have been the end of the game right then and there. Hey, Bars. How you doing? And just like that, Tom going to be taking game two. Uh, pretty good stuff. Oh. Yeah. Welcome welcome to my uh to the late stream. Uh nothing. I had to stream something else and so it just ended. Yeah. Nothing nothing bad, but yeah, so I was like, oh like it normally it was previously scheduled for this Friday and they're like, uh oh, Smash got moved to Wednesday. I'm like, Okay, fine. I'll start I'll stream Zeno an hour late. That's not the worst. We get to start off with winners quarters. We have Echo Sean and Tom, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ready?
Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Like my camera's on. Also, I just put your mic hot. I didn't realize you were off air. So say hello to everybody. Oh, hey everybody. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So my my camera's active. So if if uh, you have your thing. All right. Cool. I'll send it over in a moment. Right. Actually, commentate this, and I'll I'll get it ready. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. So. Oh wow. It's one one. And uh, we have Ryan Shulk. This matchup is uh, pretty funny. I feel, I feel like it's um. Probably even or slightly Roy's favor. Uh, I think Shulk definitely does have an advantage off stage at times, but uh, Roy neutral has a lot of fast buttons, uh, and I just put a lot of pressure on Shulk. Even when he goes in the in the defense Monado, uh, he is one of those characters that can combo Shulk uh, in the shield Monado. Excuse me, but yeah. so far it looks like uh, even game. This is game three. Yeah. Is this uh is this uh three out of five? No, this is still best of three. Uh, we Yikes. don't get to best of five until top six. Although, uh, actually no, we probably still are doing uh best of five, top six. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. But I'm just gonna talk about that down here real quick. He caught. It almost looks like he caught the jump off of the ledge, but he very may well have caught the standard get up because I know that folks down there can kind of drag people off stage at times, so I'm not sure what happened, but he exploded either way. It was good stuff by Echo Sean. Uh, and catching him with that double-edged dance, strong move, giving up the game, and now he's off stage. Can you recover? Yeah. He, he Honestly, um, that was like a 50-50. Either he had to go high or go low, and, you know, he had to make that decision, and he made the decision to go high, and Sean caught that, so good stuff by Sean. You know, I will say though, uh, when Shulk puts out that defense Monado, it can be smart to camp him out if you want to just wait it out. Because Shulk can't catch you. So at the worst, you reach that neutral position after the Monado runs out. Roy is definitely fast enough. Most, I think every character is fast enough to get away from Shulk Monado. So, um, it seems like right now Echo Sean is just kind of running away with this. Yeah, and this and this is the Edgar situation I was talking about, and he died. Damn. Yeah, that I mean, that's the type of Edgar I was talking about when it comes to Shulk versus uh, Roy, because Shulk against any character doesn't matter how good their recovery does have enough tools to go out, and his hitboxes are so big uh, that he can cover a wide range of options. So that time he air dodged, and then he tried to up below, and he still died. You know. So you saw two different interactions. Some tried to go high and you tried to go low and he got clipped either time. So it's a really tough position to be in as any character against Shulk in that situation. Yeah, and you caught the jump off ledge. Man, that was- Dragged him down. Yeah, but that was like kind of like threading the needle there too. So close to the, just getting spiked into the stage. Yeah, man. You know, Shulk, Shulk players take their vitamins all the time. All right. Uh, I think the next match is going to be, uh, I, I don't recognize the person who joined the, uh, the arena, so I'm actually not sure. Okay, so.